Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to some more car mechanic, your weekly car mechanic video. Hopefully you guys still do enjoy these videos. By the way, if you do guys, let me know in the comments below. Make sure you show some love and support in these videos because I know uh, they're not the GTA stuff, so people don't really watch them as much, but I do appreciate all the love and support in these videos. So let's just jump into this. We're going straight to the junkyard and hopefully we can find something interesting. My favorite junkyard in the world, baby. Let's do it. Let's go this way today. Let's have a look what we can find. Maybe there's some... There's no cars here at the moment. Is there even anything here? What the hell? There's actually... Normally there's at least like one car. We're not even seeing anything here. Jesus, there's... Okay, at least we have something here. We have... What is this old little thing? Old, 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 what the hell? Okay, well it has got an engine. What even is this? Okay, that is a... It's a smith. I think this is a game car, so we're definitely not going to do this. It's not a mod car, so screw you. And this over here... What even is this? I have no idea what am I looking at here. Just... <laughs> Where's the rest of the car? It's missing. What is this? Like, what even is this? Like, I have no idea. Let's have a look. It is a. What is this? A 2014 VF HSV GTS Megu ERS edition. What? What am I looking at? I don't. What? This, I have no idea what car that is. We're going to pass on that, Chief. I have no idea what that is. And I think I'm pretty sure I just said the wrong name. So I think I'm going to skip that. There's a car here, but I'm going to skip it. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to go no on this. That's a uh, Ford F-150. I mean, it's not bad, maybe. Dude, there really isn't anything here. Wow, this is a... Dip there's actually nothing here. Or there's nothing here apart from... There is something down here, but there's nothing else. So this is... I... Mm, I think I know what that is. That's that's big pimping right there. That's a Rolls Royce, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's for sure. Is look, 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 look. R R. What about the door? Oh, that is cool. Can I sit in it? Uh, I'm trying to. Can I sit in there? I'm trying to. There we go. But wait, what? <laughs> am I in the child seat? Why am I like? What the fuck? That's weird. That's very weird. Can I sit in the? Am I able to... S that's... A Wait. That says front right fender. God, that's weird. What? This thing's sweet as hell, though. Look at this. Like, this is straight out of, like, a Dubai junkyard here. Can I see the engine? Oh, there's got to be a big V8 in there, right? That is a... Yeah, big V8. Super easy to f fix there. It's a V8 uh, 4x4. Okay. That's super... Wow, it has got a lot of horsepower in there. Only 309. I thought these things had more. Because, I mean, they weigh, like, 10 tons or something. Dude, this is... Yeah, let's buy it. Wow, it's a little pricey there. We might, we're might we going to soon break into the 10 million. It's been ages since that. Dude, this thing's... This thing's kind of dope. I'm definitely going to get this, guys. What do you think? This is going to be a sweet-ass build. Let's do it. Rolls-Royce. Our first one, I think, ever. Damn. There she is. Look at this. Now we can get the front open here, hopefully. And I really don't... I don't know why it was so weirdly glitched out. Let's see if we can try that again. Yeah, this is super weird. I'm trying to figure out how to sit down in it, and I'm not able to even sit down in it. So I don't, I don't know how am I supposed to drive this because I can take that off. And <laughs> what? honey, I think I shrunk the kids. What? That's the front seat. I mean, oh, I'm sitting fine. That's weird. That's a weird. What the fuck? That is strange as dicks. Really super weird. Uh, let's get this thing pretty much fixed up, though. It's super, super rusty. But hopefully we can do some good stuff to it. Look how rusty it is. What kind of Rolls Royce is this? I wonder how much this is going to be once we finish it. So this is Rolls Royce Dawn. I think I'm saying that right. Uh, so let's clean her up. Ugh, weird color on this. Uh, that is a... Wait, what am I pressing? Well, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. What? Wait a minute. I'm pressing the wrong button here. What am I pressing the wrong button here? What? There we go. Jesus Christ. Let's move this thing back. There you go. Uh, we're going to use this. Boom. And we can move this back too. Ugh. Look at this color. Just... Ugh. I... Ugh. Yucky, dude. 
Let's take some of these rusty parts. Those seeds, though. What the hell? Okay, there goes all the rusty parts, pretty much, apart from the wheels. God, the color is weird in this thing. I like the chrome grill now. It looks pretty goddamn clean. Anyway, though, let's... um Wait, so I need to have a look here. If we look... Okay, so yeah, it's connected. We need to take off the drive. Uh, well, okay. At least this thing is connected to something. So, ah, wrong button. I need to raise this up and take a bunch of parts off. So now she's up there. We might as well... I guess I'll just start, pretty much. Uh, we're going to take off some of these parts here. Uh, we're just going to take off the wheels just so it's a little bit easier to see. Okay, so you can see here. We're going to take this. We've got the two exhausts. We've got the gearbox. Oh, it's like connected to... Wow, that's a weird... So I need to take that off. That's an interesting gearbox. It must be the 4x4 thing, right? Take that off. So now we need to take off this, the drive shaft. Uh, and then hopefully, we should be able to get the engine out of there. Oh, it's a transfer case. This is cool, because we've not done a 4x4 in ages. So there's like a transfer case. So now I can take the gearbox off. Wait, it's a VA gearbox. I thought it'd be like a... I thought it'd be like one of those 4x4 gearbox, but I guess it's because it's got a transfer case or something. It it can be that one. Uh, so might as well take the battery out if we can do that. Okay, so now we can lower this down, uh, move this thing over to there, and we can take the engine out of here, which is going to be great. Pull it out. Boom, engine is out. So now uh, let's just double check. What type of engine was in this car? It was a V8 dual overhead cam with a 4 times 4. All right, super easy. We're going to build that cocksucker, and uh, we're going to be able to uh, get the car done. Right over here. This is what we need. Boom. Let's build it. And uh, I think maybe I might have some of these parts for the V8, so let's just see if I do. Turns out I didn't have... All of the parts, but I think we did purchase maybe most of those. So let's just crack this puppy out, uh, attach everything, which should be a super easy build here. It's a V8 that we're building. We've built um, quite a few of these recently. I think I think the last two builds that I built were V8s anyway. So we pretty much cracked them out. So this is going to be super easy, I think, for me to build. Uh, the V8s will be no problemo. So let's just... Uh, and all these parts, most of these parts I do have as, ready, as well already pre-bought, as you can see, all these clutch plates. Um, I'm 100% sure I have pistons as well. So let's see, I think I have these. Uh, wow, no, I have, I'm running out of them. I've built so many cars, I'm actually running out of them. I need to stock up on some more pistons. So let's do that, let's buy some more pistons and some piston rings. I might have just caused a little bit of a problem. I ended up buying 30 of these, but these are the upgraded pistons. So... Hopefully, this is not going to be an issue here because two of the pistons are the non-upgraded pistons and the rest are the upgraded ones. So you can see they're kind of like look a little different color. I just thought I might as well go for the upgraded pistons because if I buy 30 of those, I don't have to keep getting them and we'll get a little bit more power from the vehicles, which, you know, is always going to be nice, right? I just hope it doesn't cause a problem. Like, you never know. The game's a little bit weird and quirky, so... It could be like, mm, the engine's not going to run because two of, your, two of your front pistons are different. I guess that probably would be an issue though, right? Would that probably cause an issue if you haven't got the same pistons. Okay, we're pretty much done with the pistons. Now we just add this oil pan, flipper upside down, and then we just have to add the engine heads, cam shaft, cam, not shafts, cam gears and all that stuff. And uh, it's not going to be a big build, but it's going to be... Pretty much good to go. So here we go. Let's continue. Should hopefully have most of these parts. Actually, I know what I didn't buy. I didn't buy any camshafts. No, oh, apparently I have some. I didn't buy any, so I must have s saved some. Uh, that's good, because yeah, I didn't. I didn't buy any this time, so I was a little bit worried. I was like, I screwed up, dude. I screwed up a little bit. But I think the V8s have been one of my more popular engines, so I do have a lot of these parts because I think I, I normally tend to buy extra parts. Like uh, if I if I miss a part, I buy like two or three of them, so I'm good for a little while. Super easy at the moment, just busting through this. I'm really excited about finishing that Dawn though, because we never really um, done a Rolls Royce before at all. Like I've never built one, I never fixed one. 
there never has been one in in the uh, car mechanic catalog, so to see, so to speak, of video or, or cars we fixed. So this is super cool. This is very very cool. This is the first one. There's obviously a bunch of them we could do, right? So maybe down the line we can do a couple others as well. So that'd be super cool. Uh, I'm missing some of these fuel rails. So let's buy those. What about these rollers? Did I need those as well? I'm pretty sure I don't have those, so we're gonna buy those as well. Uh, roller B and roller A. Uh, I think I don't have both, so let's just buy both. Just bought a shit ton of rollers. I should be pretty good for multiple car builds here. Uh, but it does seem like every single car do use those, so I'm not too worried about not actually using up and getting too many, because pretty much every single build uses these. But I think I bought too much of the other ones, because... Rollers A were the ones that don't get as used. Rollers B get used more, and I think I bought more rollers A than B, so uh, that's a little bit of a mess up there. So look at this. We're almost pretty much done with these belts and rollers and all that. Boom. Done. Nice. Uh, let's add all of these parts here, because I think I have everything here. Boom. And cav covers as well. I don't think I remember buying this, so kind of lucky that I had this one. Just a couple of more parts we need to add here, and we're almost done with the engine for the Rolls Royce Dawn. Pretty goddamn nice. I I'm looking forward to taking it for a test drive because obviously that one's just like a cruiser, isn't it? We're not going to be racing it or anything like that. Do I have any of these? I have one, so I need to buy another one. Final pieces here, so let's add all these. Looks like I had the right cover, which is nice, but I think I will be missing the ignition coil cover thing, so we need to buy one of those. She's done. Engine is done. Super easy build. V8 wasn't long at all. Pretty happy with that. So let's uh, t -t 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 take off and put her in here. And that is going to be a pretty good start already. Boom. Add that. Move crane back. Yes. Look at that. Super nice. That's an easy build. Uh, we're going to finish up with the engine first here before we move on. So we're going to take all of these rusty parts here. I think I might have all of the parts to replace. Apart from, obviously, I need to go charge the battery. Uh, that's the one thing I do need to go charge. And I don't have any of those AP modules. So let's buy some of those. Surprised this thing hasn't got any filters or anything. That's kind of weird. Like any air filters or anything. I need a radiator. A. Hey, let's buy some of those. One final thing we need for the engine here is let's charge the battery and while we charge the battery let me quickly put some oil into here too so I don't forget about that because uh, that sometimes still catches me out when I start the car and there's no oil in there so let's get that in there battery is good let's add this boom there we go and now let's just finish the engine make sure the gearbox everything is all set up and then we can uh, work on the rest of the car looks like I already had a V8 gearbox which is fine Let's add that, get the starter, boom. And that's kind of it here. I think I don't know if I have one of these transfer case. Let's get one of those. Add the fresh new transfer case. And there she is. Great. Uh, let's see. Do we have any of these pipes? If we do, we might as well add these. Add these new fresh look. I uh, don't have that. Let's get one of these parts. I need a front drive shaft D. I bought some of these parts, so let's just add all it. Wait a minute. I need to take that one off because it goes in the front. Whoa, wait, it's a really weird build here. Nope, I need to take that off. That can't be connected because I need to replace that bit. Okay, we're going to do that afterwards. But uh, I am able to connect these because I did buy these parts. So let's just add the exhaust and stuff like that. And... Oh, it goes all the way back. Sheesh, look at this. Don't have that. Do I have the rear? Okay, we have those, which is good. There we go. We have the exhaust system, the pipes, everything set up. Now we can work on the front of the car, which seems to be kind of complicated a little bit here. So I'm, I'm interested in seeing this. Hopefully it's not a super painful build, which it does look like there's a lot of going on here. So this is going to be interesting for sure. We tear apart this side of the car. Uh, you can see there's nothing there. So let's get this all done here too. This has been a kind of interesting build because I've never had this front drive axle. Oh, we can take it apart. That's so weird. Wait, so the front... So, oh, okay. So, is this like a true 4x4? Does that... I don't know if that's a genuine question because 
if there's a transfer case that makes it 4x4, is all 4x4s... This, I'm sorry, this might be a really dumb question to all the card guys will probably get super sweaty and super angry. I mean, it's just, just a genuine question. Because I thought this thing, like, converts it into a 4x4, but it's not like a true 4x4. Because the true 4x4 would have, like, the gearbox would be a 4x4 gearbox. It's a V8 gearbox with a transfer case. That's a 4 I don't know. It's a little bit confusing. Have I ever said the car building is super confusing? And have I ever said that, holy smokes, some people get so angry that I don't know something about a car like I'm not allowed to uh, play the game or, or ask questions they're like oh, you do not know every single one fact about that car dude you're not allowed to talk about it or play last couple of parts here let's take these off uh, this and come on camera please please don't do this I have that wait a minute there we go there we go everything's ripped off uh, let's go to workbench and see what we can fix Moment of truth. Let's add a couple of these parts. Do I have any sway bars? No, I need to buy some. Moment of truth. Let's see if I fix this. The front drive axle D did not get fixed, so let's just buy one. Dude, next car I build, I really might be able to break into the 10 million mark. And I had over 10 million for the longest of time. I wonder how much money we had at the start. I think it was quite high. I think I had like 16 million. And no, it was not because of cheats. I genuinely fixed a car. I think it was like a McLaren something, and we sold it. And the thing was like 16 million or something. Do you remember that? It was one of my like first-ish good car mechanic videos. That was pretty wild build, and that was uh, that was impressive. We did a good job on that thing. Looks like we built most of these parts, which is kind of nice. Make sure I add all of these rubber bushings here, so that's all nice and done. Oh, I know what I don't have. Springs, suspension springs. I need to make some of those instantly. So I need, let me just see here. Let's add this. Uh, what kind of spring was it? I need a, a double wishbone shock absorber. Okay, let's buy two of those. I wish this part didn't take as long. I mean, this one doesn't take super duper long. What takes really long is the wheel balance. And that takes like a minute to like 40 seconds. That really takes too long. This thing takes maybe like 10, five seconds. So it's not too bad, but still, uh, I wish it was a little bit quicker. Busting through this build so far, because we have not got any brake discs. I, I was going to say, yeah, we're busting through. We got a lot of these parts. Nope, brake discs, uh, ventilator. Let's buy a bunch of these. Reason why we bought 10 brake discs is, well, because pretty much two of those will always be used for a vehicle build. The front two brake discs are always ventilated. The back ones are, I think, different. So those parts, I normally do stock up on quite a few of those, because we can kind of stockpile those. Not an issue there. So this side is pretty much done, I think. Let me just make sure the bushing is there. Yes, yes, yes. Let's move on to this side. Uh, add these, and uh, hell yeah, front will be completed. Almost done here with the other side. Just adding everything here. Pretty much got all of that. It's all connected, which is nice. Uh, let's finish her off here. So we need to add that. I think I do have one more Wilha bearing, luckily, which is good. Don't buy that. Add this drive axle here, and there we go. So that's connected. That's all connected, looking nice and dandy, beautiful. Add the brake pads, and uh, we need to go buy some wheels. That's what we need to go. I have a good idea for the wheels. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be the best thing, but uh, let's try it. So I bought the wheels, but I kind of wanted to paint them. I think I might paint them white. Uh, I don't know if this is going to look good, but let's try this. Not sure what I've just done. I think this was a mistake, but let's find out. Maybe not. They might look okay. Okay, actually, maybe we'll like. I, I guess we'll see. They're kind of like chrome-y. That's what I made them. Uh, I think maybe for the Rolls Royce, they don't look that bad because they could potentially look okay. But let's add these wheels and just we're just gonna uh, see how these look. Maybe that doesn't look too bad, actually. It looks a bit weird. It doesn't look clean. It kind of looks dirty. I don't know. It doesn't really look that shiny. Like, I need to polish these wheels or something. But I think we'll be okay. Well, I think we'll be fine. Let's, uh... Let's keep her going. Now that we've finished with the front, let's move on to the back. The rear of it. Let's finish it up. Not much left, so let's get that done. Should be a pretty easy build here, because I'm looking at this. And, uh... Yeah, this is one of those rears that 
not much is going on here, so we should be able to do this nice and easy. Just going to take everything apart. We'll try to fix what we can, save some money. I just sold a bunch of parts. Turns out I'm an insane hoarder, and I have way, way too many parts. So I sold a few of those, because um, what happened is I bought parts for, like, a card that I don't really make a lot. I should have bought a bunch of, like, VA parts. Those were probably the most common. I bought, like, a bunch of, like, cheaper kind of, like, JDM car build parts. Um, like, engines and motors and stuff. And I haven't really built them as much as I thought I was. So I just sold a bunch of them. Because I bought, like, like 15 um, engines for, like, a, a JDM. But, like, that's way too many. I sold, like, 10. So I have only five now parts of, like, a, a engine. So... We should be a little bit better for space now, so the game hopefully won't be lagging as much, which it hasn't been. I've been taking out what I've been doing lately, guys. If you do add too many mods, the game will start lagging. So whenever you do finish with a mod, um, I recommend you take it out so it doesn't die. So that's what kind of been doing, and uh, I've noticed that the game has been 100% running a little bit more smoother than it has been before. So I'm, I'm kind of happy about that. So the rear is done. Rear really super duper easy build here. Uh, so we're just going to try to repair some of these parts and see what happens. Okay, let's add the drive shaft. Here we go. So now this is all attached and she is beautifully done. I mean, that looks like that thing would snap. It's at like a weird angle. Wait, would that thing snap? Does it not need to be straight? Maybe not. Maybe I'm just thinking of it wrong. No, maybe it's fine. Would it not snap when it goes for a bump? Like the tension? Maybe not. Maybe I'm just... Never mind. Probably saying stuff bad. Car guys are going to be very disappointed in me. Luckily, I have a lot of these parts here. So I'm super, super happy. Look at this. That's pretty much done. That side is done. Did I... Look at this bunch of parts for that. We'll have... Nope. None of those. Need to buy some. Okay. This side is completed. Let's move on to the other side. And she should be good. Okay. So, both of the sides are done. Let's add the wheels. I think I'm going to do with the same wheels with the chrome thing with the back. It doesn't look that nice, but it was a little bit different. So let's uh, let's buy the wheels and wait. I need to uh, I need to buy the wheels and then paint them first, and then we can put the tires on it. Shit! Did I paint the wrong? Ah, oh, crap! I think I painted the wrong. Ugh. Did I paint? What? Did I even paint these? They don't even look the same. What? I don't think I painted that wheel. Wait a minute. Okay, I, I painted one of them twice. And looks like I missed one. So that sucks. Great. So let's go repaint this wheel while that is getting balanced. And then we re... Ugh, God, I'm such an idiot. Okay, so the tires are getting done. Let's just add this one here. There we go. Very nice. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. That's all done. Uh, one thing I wanted to check, make sure there's a bearing, uh, okay, rubber bearing in there, or bushing. That's all good. Let's balance this, and we're good to rock and roll. Ah, that is done. What do you think? With the chrome wheels, uh, it could be nice with the right paint job. So now let's move the car, uh, garage entrance, and let's finish. Oh, what the hell? Here we go. Let's uh, add all the parts. Wait a minute, I'm kind of confused here. What do I do with... Can I... I could take these baby seats out. And then is that the steering wheel? What the fuck is that steering wheel? I can take that out too. What? I know these aren't like the same cars, but I'm going to go with the Bentley seats. Just because they're the kind of most luxurious slash expensive seats I can have. Um, or one of the most expensive. It kind of doesn't really go together with the look at the car. But the cool thing is... I guess it doesn't matter because there's going to be like a thing over it. So you're not really going to see the seats. So let me add this tiny little ass steering wheel, uh, which I went for Bentley as well. But you can see it's so tiny, you're not going to see it. Because if we do uh, this, you can see that the seats go over the seats and the steering wheel. And you don't even know what kind of steering it was. So everything's fine. All right, look at that. She's done. She's looking pretty nice. Let's get her into paint and... We're going to make her look real nice. Now, I don't know what color to go with it. I'm thinking maybe like chromey blue might look kind of cool. But maybe there's too much chrome because the wheels are chrome. So, maybe that really wouldn't work. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Now, I don't know about the chrome. I think it might look nicer black, actually. I think the wheels would have been nicer black. But maybe with the rolls, there is a lot of chrome going on here. Like there's chrome there. There's... There's chrome around here, so maybe it's not too bad. Let's take her out for a spin, see how she does. 
Hohoho. Doesn't. I don't think that sounds like a Rolls Royce to me. It really doesn't. But there she is. Whoa, that's... God, that's slow. Okay, watch this. This is flat out. This is me. Oh my god, is that slow. Holy shit. This thing is slow. I mean, it's big. It's heavy. It looks nice. Like, you know, if you want to look like you got a million bucks, you get one of these. But it is not fast. That was... It sounds nice, though. It doesn't sound that bad, I mean... Got nothing to complain about. It handles kind of like a heavy boat. Drives like a heavy boat. Drives kind of how I expected. Well, there's the build. There's the Rolls Royce. Let me know what you think, guys. Finished product. I think it looks pretty nice. Don't know about the wheels. Maybe make and black would be better. But the chrome, I think, kind of suits it anyway. So I'll see your faces in the next video. Subscribe for more. And let me know what you think, guys. Take it easy. Bye.